Alrighty, all. This is my first video, I guess, going on YouTube. Um, I just kind of decided to start doing YouTube and start streaming my art just because, I don't know, I really needed a life change. Um, I don't know. Sorry, I just, like, just sneeze, so, like, I'm a little bit sniffly, but, um, I don't know, I just, I really need a life change and something needed to just so I needed to budge, otherwise I was going to go utterly insane, and I'm sure a lot of you have felt that way, um, but on YouTube I kind of want to do like story times, um, kind of while I draw, um, on Twitch I'm just going to just be live streaming while I doodle, I'm a little bit less formatted, um, so this is my first YouTube video um, in this format. Um, so I kind of just wanted to talk about the service industry today um, and kind of the reason why I needed this change in my life. Um, so I have been working in the service industry for three years now. Um, working in coffee, which I really used to like, um, you know, I really liked interacting with people, really liked all the coworkers I had, um, but obviously the pandemic kind of changed a lot about that world, um, dude, I don't even know what's happening with this arm right now, I think, I'm getting sidetracked, I'm getting distracted, um, <laughs> Uh, you know, it definitely had its ups and downs, like, you know, I'm sure we're all familiar with, like, care and culture and bad customers, and of course that was always an issue, but I think the pandemic, am I even allowed to say pandemic on YouTube? I, <laughs> if, if I get demonetized for saying pandemic, I'm gonna start saying Panera Bread. Um, so... Yeah, obviously the Panera Bread <laughs> changed a lot about the service industry. Um, so when the global Panera Bread <laughs> hit um, last year, I got furloughed from my job. Um, it wasn't immediate. It was um, a little bit. Things forcefully got shut down for a bit. Um, we, you know, attempted to stay open, um, because we were technically essential, uh, wearing masks to work, and, you know, we were attempting to social distance from our coworkers, but obviously like, we weren't getting any business, so the business decided to close, uh, it furlough us, and that little bird just squeaked is our bird, uh, she will probably be squeaking. Hey, Puck, say hi to YouTube. Um... Yeah, we got furloughed, and my my boss called it a paid vacation, which obviously was not. Uh, so, you know, I thought, you know, like everyone thought the lockdown was going to be, like, super temporary, and, and it obviously it wasn't. It was months of quarantine. Um, I was still expecting to go back to my job. I had federal unemployment at that time, uh, which was, which was good. Obviously it was really good money and it was more than I was making, um, you know, in tips because barista okay. pay. Um, but I was really depressed during that time. I'm sure like a lot of us, a lot of us were, because it was a really bad time. Um, so, I don't know, I thought in the beginning of the pandemic, I was like, oh my god, I finally have time to work on my art, and, you know, I finally have free time that's paid for, and, you know, everyone's, like, you know, making their pandemic bread, and there's all these stories of people doing cool things in quarantine, and I felt really bad for not being productive, and for being depressed, and it was kind of 
it was a really rough time. Uh, I started making stickers and working on my art. I got my mental health figured out, um, which I'll probably talk about in a different video. Uh, started making stickers and kind of pushing myself to do my art. Um, but that's also kind of a tangent on its own. Um, I just dropped my pen. Sorry, I'm not planning on editing these videos because I hate my voice. Um, yeah, Puck, I hate my voice. <laughs> um, but yeah, back to, aw, angry. Uh, back to the service industry. Um, so unemployment in Texas ended, uh, I guess it was August or September or something like that last year. Uh, and I was forced to finally accept that my old job wasn't going to take me back and start looking for a new job. Um, so I found this one job as a barista. It was super unprofessional and it was also really scary because it was my first time going back to work and, you know, no one's vaccinated and it was just a really terrible time. Um, didn't like it, so I... <sighs> Sorry, this is like... It's just been a really rough year, you know? Um, so I found a different job. Um, I'm trying to remember which one this was. Oh, I opened a coffee shop in downtown and that went pretty okay for a bit but then the business ended up being like really corrupt um yeah then I found a new job uh and that one sucked too so then I found another new job and this is like honestly I've never bounced between jobs before um so you know and I was really happy with the job I had before the Panera Bread. Um, yeah, so it was really difficult kind of accepting that and really struggling to find a job. Um, then I finally found the job that I'm at now uh, and kind of content to believe in there. Of course, you always have to, you know, fight with anti-maskers anti every single day. Um, which kind of beats down your mental health. Um, yeah. And, you know, I think it, it just kind of finally cracked me. You know, telling someone to put on their mask every single day, it just, it gets exhausting, it gets annoying. There's a lot of abuse that comes with that too, when people don't want to follow the rules. Uh, you know, making comments about how, you know, masks don't work, or the pandemic isn't real, or, you know, we're being ridiculous, and when it's like, it's not my policy, it's the business's policy, and it's also just general public safety. Uh, yeah, and I, I think the, the needle that cracked the camel's back was this customer kind of knowingly put his mask on incorrectly. And kind of gave me like a snarky look and I was like sir um if you just put your mask on correctly and then he like adjusted it and gave me another snarky look and I was just like dude I like I deal with this every day like if you could just please wear your mask while you order coffee and he was just like okay um I'm gonna just go somewhere else and I was like okay then and just just I just want to work somewhere where I can be treated like a human, a human being, you know, and I, that's kind of a standard want, I think, um, and tired of arguing with people about masks, uh, especially, you know, at my place of work, um, And recently, our job decided to take away masks. Um, today was our first day without it, and it it takes off a 
he takes off one burden and kind of replaces it with another. So, like, for one, I don't have to fight people in masks anymore. Um, but then also it's, like, there's so many people who just don't care about other safety and it just sucks. You know, the whole, the whole, the whole thing sucks. It, I, I don't want to work in a, in a Panera Bread anymore. And I want to just, I want to do something that I like and that I'm passionate about and that I'm going to be treated, treated well doing, um, so that's why I just said F it, and I'm gonna make YouTube videos and start streaming, just so I can have some sense of accomplishment in my life. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm here. I'm sorry if this first video was kind of rambly, um, still just trying to figure this out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, <laughs> yeah, just uh, subscribe if you want to, or you can, you know, not. <laughs> um, and watch me on Twitch and subs Twitch and also Instagram. Uh, yeah, all those links are gonna be there. Thank you for watching. <laughs>